Hello friends. As we can see, this is a cyclic voltagram data. And in our previous video, we have learned to split that particular data according to the cycles. Here we have five cycles, and we have di di uh, divided or splitted the columns into five data sets or five cycles. And we have learned in learned this in our previous video. Today, in our video, we are going to learn to copy the columns into single worksheet. Uh, we have also learned to append the worksheet, but this is different from appending a worksheet. In append worksheet, what we do is we need a single worksheet already present in there, and then we go to worksheet and use append worksheet uh, function, and we can append the worksheets, different worksheet into this particular worksheet that is already available. But what if we need a new or blank worksheet and we need to add different columns from different worksheets into it? So for that. what we need to do is we need to have a blank worksheet i will uh, add this blank worksheet into another folder we can use any folder or we can even add that worksheet into any uh, folder as we wish even the same folder we can use there but i will for convenience i will use a new folder here this is the blank worksheet that we have in this back blank worksheet we will add the columns that we have already seen here the columns that are present here we will use the first two columns that are need to be added and as we can see in the pro project explorer there are different data sets and from each data set or in, from uh, from different books that we have we will use the first two columns of the first worksheet that we have or the worksheet that we have that is called split to add in, in order to identify the worksheet that we need to add there i have added comments to this worksheets that we need to be added or columns that we need to be added so here what we'll do is we'll go to worksheets we'll select this we'll go to worksheet and here copy columns to using this function this dialog opens then here we have recalculate we'll set it to auto source columns we will select source columns as we can see we will select columns here and as we uh, as for our con convenience what i did was i added the comments here we can see there are comments to the worksheets that we need so i will sort them according to the comments once i sort them according to the comments all the worksheets that are needed to be added to the to this particular worksheet or the all the columns that are need to be added to this particular worksheet can be seen here i'll first delete this now as we can see it's a cv data so first the voltage column should be added and then the current column should be added so for each particular data what i will do is i will add individually one by one first the voltage then the current first the voltage and the current so all the columns are added just click okay now here in this particular dialog what we have is destination columns we can select them we can select from the worksheet or we can select the columns or cons okay you can have this we have selected this okay but all the data can be added here instead of that what we will do is we will go to custom and here book the existing workbook that we have book name book 3 that we can see sheet the same active sheet that we have columns existing not just existing we can use new instead of existing we can use new and i'll delete this and now i'll click okay so the destination columns are have been selected copy data data would be copied copy sampling intervals if we have some sampling intervals in the data we can copy them even 
uh, hidden rows can be ignored and copy mask if we have added some mask to that particular data even that can be added by selecting this particular uh, tick further what we have is copy format all the column formats can be copied copy cell format if we have any cell format we can copy that copy labels all the labels long names units comments parameters user defined parameters can also be copied there finally what we have is sort output if we need a sorted output either ascending or descending we can sort them but here we don't need any sorted output so i will select unsorted and now just by clicking ok all the worksheets or all the columns are added to this particular worksheet these two columns are not needed i will delete them and now here what we can see is the worksheets with individual comments or identifier can be seen the columns with the individual identifiers can be seen using the comments so in this way we can copy the columns into a single worksheet by using copy column uh, copy columns to uh, function given in this particular origin lab so thank you for watching this video and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos thank you